Hey everybody. Okay, now I've decided to make this video because um, as we were going through review 5, uh, I felt that I was going through a bit too fast and there are and review 5 is a good practice or good paper for you to re look and recap all the concepts for Desmos 1 and Desmos 2. So that's why I decided to make this video again so that if you um, have problems or you are not sure of some of the concepts here I will go through and I will highlight some of the main points uh, for each of the concepts and this will be also good when you are doing your revision at the end of the year you can actually come back to this video and uh, help you to refresh your memory on all the concepts involved okay so let's uh, get into it now now let's look at question one okay so quite straightforward for 1a 4 out of 10 so this is uh, 10th place so therefore because this is 10th okay because this is 10 so this is my 10th place so that's why 4 is in my 10th place okay so you just have to take note because this is 4 divided by 10 this will be 10th all right so then my 4 must be in my 10th place okay so you just have to look what is my denominator so for here this 3 will be my 3 hole okay that's why my 3 hole is here this 3 because it's over 10 is 3 tenth so therefore my this three this the other three three is here now for this uh, like I said it, this can be broken up into two if you remember your number bonds this is actually made up of 10 oops uh, this is actually made up of sorry yeah this made up of actually 10 oopsie okay of 10 as well as 8 okay so 10 and 8 so this is actually 10 over 10 10 tenth which is 1 8 over 10 this is 0 0.8 okay so therefore this is 1 over 8 the other way that I taught you is to actually jump so because this is 10th this is one decimal place so I jump my decimal point back by 1 and therefore this is 1.8 okay now for question 2 I mentioned before, right? Question two: um, How do you do this? This is this is a very good strategy. So underline tenth. So I want to look at my tenth place. So I this I need to find my tenth place. So this is my tenth place. So all I need to do is just write down all the numbers here. So this is six. So that's all I need to do. So same thing. This is tenth. Okay. So I need to locate. Okay. I found tenth here. So this whole entire these two numbers must be reflected here. Okay, same with this, 10th, so this is 7, the 7 is in my 10th place, so 1 and 7 must be in there, without the decimal point. And same thing goes here, 2, so therefore this is 42. Okay, right, question 3. Now I, I know I'm going fast again, huh? Okay, but the good thing about videos is if you need to stop, replay, please do so. Now this is 3 ones, okay, uh, so... Therefore, this 3 is in my 1's place. 4 tenth, therefore my 4 is in the 10th place. Alright, so you follow the same for part B, part C, and part D. Okay? Okay, question 4. So like I said, for question 4, you should start adding in um, some of the decimal places. So because this is 3, this is 0, so I can actually put in point 0 here, and I can put in point zero here okay all right so okay I'm, I'm gonna write it elsewhere this is actually 3.0 okay or third or 3.0 yeah so this will be zero zero so zero that's why this that's why this is 0 0.1 this will be 0 0.5 okay so 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 there's no zero point it's not 0 0.10 so it's actually 1.0 so 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, this will be 20 or 2.0. Okay, so you actually, actually can count uh, like that, okay, as if it's a whole number. It's just that there is a decimal point here. Okay, so that's how you do question 4. Question 5, because this is um, this is 0 0.4, so my, my 1s remain as 1s here. Okay, 4 is 0 0.4, so it's 4 tenths, 4 over 10. Alright, same with this, same with part B, 
and same with part D. Okay, so this question five is not too bad. Right, let's move on to question six. Uh, okay, question six, the digit three. Okay, what is which place? Digit three is in the tenth place. Remember the S. Okay, so this is important. Value is zero point three. Okay, so value, remember, is number. So when, I, when we talk about value, we are always talking about number. When we talk about place, is where, where is this thing? What, what, what place is this in? Okay. So same, this is 9 over 100. So it's 100th place. So this 9 goes to the 100th place. So this is my 100th place. Therefore, my 9 is here. Same thing, two holes will come here. Two holes. This is 26 over 10. So like I said, I can break this up using number bond. This is 20 and this is 6. Okay, so this is actually 20 over 100. This is 6 over 100. Okay, so I can get rid of the common zeros, so I get rid of them. So this is 2 over 10, which is 2 tenths. Therefore, my 2 is here. 6 over 100 is 6 is here. Okay, so I mean, that's how you look at it. The other way of looking at it is, like I said, jump decimal places. 1, 2, so my decimal point is here, so therefore it's 0 0.26 plus the 2 is 2.26, okay? Okay, now, uh, for this, again, like I said, it's breaking up into 100 and 5, okay? So this is 100 over 100, this is 5 over 100, so I can get rid of the two zeros, okay? So for a fraction, so long they have, I have zeros common zeros, that means here I have two zeros, denominator two zeros, you can actually get rid of them. All right, it's the same as dividing um, by top and bottom by 100. Okay, that's what I'm actually doing. Divide top and bottom by 100. So I'm getting rid of the zero. If I get rid of one zero, is I'm dividing it by 10. Okay, hopefully you, you, you understand that. So this is one, therefore that, that's why this is one here. Five of 100 is 500, therefore this five is in the 100th place. The zero is important. Okay, so this zero holds the place, so this zero must be there. Right. Now question eight. So like I said, hundred. Look for my hundredth place if I can find it. So all this number copied here. The zeros in front doesn't matter. Don't have to leave it. Don't have to write it down. Hundredth. This is my hundredth place. So all this number must be in here. Hundredth. Uh, I don't have hundredth place here. I only have tenth place. So I need to create. So let me create. Oh no, hang on. Okay, so let me create. Sorry. Okay. So this is five. Now I need to add in the hundredth place. So since there's nothing at the hundredth place, this will be zero. So I've located my hundredth place. So all three numbers must be down. Two five zero is your answer. Okay. Question nine. Two ones. Two ones here. Six hundredth. Therefore, my six is in my hundredth place. Nothing in my tenth place, so I put a zero here. Okay. Same goes. Five tenth, five hundredths. Therefore, five tenth, five hundredths here. And part C, you should be able to do it. All right. Question ten. Okay. So, like I said, because there are two decimal places for all. So in my number line, I need to make sure I have two decimal places. So let me just add in zeros everywhere. Okay, so they are all two decimal places. It's easier to count and look at it. So this is 0 0.00. Right, so if this is 0 0.00, this will be 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04. Therefore, your 0 0.04 is here. Then 0 0.05 all the way to uh, 0 0.09, then 0 0.1, 0 0.10, okay? But this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, there's 15 is here, all the way to 20, 0 0.25, 25 is here, so 26 is here. Okay? So it's easier to look at it like uh, as if it's a whole number. Okay? Okay, question 11. Uh, quite straightforward. I'm not going to spend too much time into this. You all should know this by now. Question 12, same thing, digit 8 is in my 100th place. The value is 0 0.08. Okay, money, I doubt you have problems, so we're just going to move on fast, okay? If you need to pause to do the corrections, please pause it. Um, same goes with this, alright? This is 9 
thousand so therefore this is my thousand place so this is 63 so I can jump three places so because there's empty space here I fill it with zero and my decimal point is here therefore this is zero therefore your answer is 0 0.063 okay so like I said the other way is to break it up okay so this is 3 and this is 60 so this is 60 over 1000 cancel the common zeros this is 6 over 100 so it's 600 therefore this is here okay 600 this is 3 over 1000 therefore this is 3000 this is here so there are many ways of doing it so it's up to you which one you prefer Right, question 16 like I said uh, I will just do the last one thousands place I only have tenth hundredth I have no thousand place so I need to create it so by creating it I put always put a zero okay you can create things by putting a zero so now I have my thousand thousandth place so all three numbers must be in okay question 17 more or less straightforward we'll talk about that Question 18 should be okay. Alright. Uh, question 19. Digit 9 is in the thousandth place. Alright, value is 0 0.009 in the thousandth place. So always check, make sure my number is in the correct place. Okay? So even if it's a value, your number must be in the correct place. Okay. So like for question 20, like I said, this is can be an equal sign more than is plus so 0 0.1 plus 1.1 1 .1 is 1.2 equal sign this is minus so take the difference so 2 minus 0 0.2 is 1.8 okay and you can do the same for the rest all right so just convert the is to equal sign and then if it's more than is plus if it's less than is minus minus you just take the difference okay question 21 um, this is in you are jumping in terms of 0 0.04. Okay, so if you look here, this is 0 0.04. So 4, 8, 12, so this is 0 0.12, 16 is here, 20 is here, 24 is here. Okay. Question 22. Um, this is greater than, alright, because in the ones place, 4 is greater than 0. Here, 0. The ones place both are zero, so I can't compare. So let me move on to the next place. My tenth place is both seven, still can't compare. Looking at my hundredth place, one is three, one is zero, so three is greater than zero. Okay, so here, ones place both are zeros. Tenth place, this is one, this is two, therefore one is smaller than two. Okay, question 23. I want the greatest and underline the smallest. So this is zero, while the rest are three and three. So therefore this is the smallest, so I underline this. In the tenth place, this is zero, this is four, so four is greater, so therefore this will be circled. Now for the part B, all three zeros, so I can compare. So let me look at the tenth place. This is six, this is six, this is six. Again, I can compare. So now I, I'm going to look at 100th place, but I don't have 100th place here, so this is actually a zero. You need to take note. So this is zero, zero, zero. Again, I can't compare. All right, so let me look at the thousandth place. Again, let me put in another zero. So zero, one, five. So five is greatest, so five I circle. Zero is the smallest, so I underline this. So that's how I get my answer. You do the same for part C. Okay, the concepts are the same. All right, question 24. Okay. Uh, I will stop here, sorry, because I'm running out of time. Uh, I'll create another video so that each video is less than 15 minutes long. Okay, so see you in the next video.